Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Finest XI, and today we have a video on the 12.7 preliminary patch notes. Yesterday, they did a podcast. They showed a lot of stuff, talked about a lot of stuff, and they dropped the preliminary patch notes for the upcoming 12.7 patch. So today, we're going to quickly get through them all, and we're going to talk about what is coming in 12.7. Okay, so like I said, my goal is to get through these relatively fast. Is that actually gonna happen? I don't know, we'll see. These things normally take way longer than I think they're going to, but let's get to it. We have first, the added section. Customs expansion, expansion of industrial area, construction site, added many new explorable buildings, stationary weapons, new location for Rishala spawn, etc. At some point in this video, I'm gonna show you guys a trailer that they revealed yesterday. It shows off a lot of the new customs expansion area. It looks super exciting. It looks like the customs we were all always meant to have and it's going to be a lot of fun for for new players and for veteran players the new customs expansion looks just like a, a fun battleground to explore and play in new scab boss sanitar that's going to be on shoreline i still don't know if he's going to be in the resort only or if he has other spawns the villa the cottage section of shoreline was also in the trailer and i thought i saw some strange looking scabs maybe scab guards at the villa so i don't know if sanitar can also spawn over there or if i was just i was just reading the trailer wrong but sanitar is coming and this is his description a former doctor he worked in a health resort lazerni bereg probably butchering that and before that in the terror group laboratory after the events that happened in tarkov he gathered a gang with former colleagues and operates on the shoreline actively uses professional skills in combat quickly healing himself and the gang members he uses various stimulants and medications including those of his own production he can quickly perform surgery by pulling out a bullet or applying a tourniquet on the field sometimes he is loyal to the scabs and can leave a couple of first aid kits or other medical supplies for his own group members on location sounds like a fun boss to me i can't wait to get in there and meet him new quests on shoreline this is most likely going to involve sanitar probably something simple like go take him down the usual stuff a system for reporting suspicious players unacceptable nicknames and game bug abusers on the post match screen so in 12.7 we're finally going to get that report button so now every time a standard edition account kills me i can go ahead and quickly report him right then and there because i know he's cheating totally joking this is good though because there are a lot of hackers that's no secret in tarkov so the ability to report them right then and there after these things happen is good the nicknames are also kind of a big issue there are a lot of people who think it's funny to be 12 and uh racist on the internet so this will be good this is a good thing to have in any online video game so i'm glad it's getting added okay next section improved ai behavior bots can pick up items now i can't wait to see how that looks improved ai behavior when they see bodies this is pretty cool previously you could just funnel scavs into one area and just take them out as they came in through the doorway and then there would just be a massive pile of bodies and every scav would just keep coming in coming in coming in and they just wouldn't even question the massive pile of bodies in the door this is more realistic this will be pretty cool i can't wait to see how they react when they do see bodies like they'll probably be more cautious and they won't do something so stupid bots can now pick up a second firearm from bodies i'd be amazed to see one do that mid fight switch to it and shoot me so we'll no longer be able to just identify a player scav by the fact that he has two weapons on him previously you would never see a normal scav with two weapons so you could instantly tell from a distance if it was a player or not now that's not the case we won't be able to know until we check if it has a pouch slot uh, after we kill it ai now can greet each other or player scavs showing their peaceful intentions sounds fun bots will eat and drink while in peaceful mode that'll be really funny ai will perform a mag check when in peaceful mode that's cool bots can check someone for friend or foe by aiming at him for some time if they're not sure of one's intentions so i guess they'll just point their gun at you if they're a little hesitant of you and uh be ready to fire bots will sprint while patrolling if they consider the spot being dangerous dangerous that is gonna get me because previously whenever you see a bot sprinting you know something's going on either they're chasing after a hatchling or they're either in or getting out of a fight now they'll just sprint through open dangerous areas which is gonna be really cool all this is just making the ai more realistic and that'll be fun ai will be able to storm the player as a group if he's holding position and attacking them again just making them smarter making them react to situations better ai will try to avoid dangerous places awesome 
so for better or worse the scavs are learning they're smarter now we just have to deal with it new weapons fn gl40 grenade launcher and mossberg 590a1 shotgun in the podcast they use these two weapons a lot they look really cool i'll throw out pictures of them you know like right now uh the grenade launcher much to my dismay it explodes on impact when i first heard this was getting introduced i was curious to know if this was just going to shoot a grenade and then it had a fuse timer or if it was going to explode on impact well it's going to explode on impact and we all need to run for our lives i can't wait to see how the community reacts to this being in the game only time will tell new ammos got added 366 apm it's an armor piercing 366 round hopefully one that finally makes that gun really viable 45 acp hydroshock 9x19 ammo is getting added more 45 acp new 762 by 51 i believe nikita said a little more armor penetrating than the m61 which is kind of nuts so that'll be something to see and then all this is grenade launcher ammo and i believe he said something along the lines of in real life they all blow up just kind of about the same but in the game he varied the explosions and varied the damage they do uh because it is a video game so we'll just have all this ammo to test out with a grenade launcher and see which one works the best new stimulants got added be on the lookout for these they're way more op than any stimulant we've had in the game so far some of them last 30 minutes i kid you not they last for 30 minutes these stimulants are going to be way more powerful than what we've had so far so when these do actually get added into the game i'll do a video on them but for now i don't want to dwell too much on them added an additional icon for the network connection status in case of high packet loss so if something's going funky in your network it'll tell you on screen in the container slots window the container tag is now displayed in the header container slots window the container tag is now displayed okay so this is for um anything that you would tag in your inventory and instead of it saying what you tagged it it would just be like docs case because the name didn't pop up so now that will finally display so if it's a docs case for shoreline keys it'll actually say shoreline uh key tools will do the same thing everything will display the name properly awesome iteration of improving and reworking the skill system new skill surgery reduces hp penalty for surgery improves surgery speed now i finally have a good excuse for jumping off of the roofs that i jump off of when i black my legs i can just say i'm doing it to increase my surgery skill i am meta at elite level no hp penalty for the restored body part that's sick maximum increase in the speed of surgery that's sick too getting elite level for something like that is probably going to be next to impossible but we'll see whenever it gets added we'll see how long it actually takes to level new skill aim drills increase of the aiming speed decrease of the volume of aiming that's really cool too ergonomics currently di dictate how fast you actually ads now there's going to be a skill we can level up to ads faster all across the board so that's going to be really fun same thing with decreasing the volume of aiming that's really loud it lets you know if an opponent's nearby this will level up it'll get quieter it'll just add more depth to the gunplay at elite levels no handshaking at any stamina value first two seconds after aiming okay reduced handshaking during tremor and fracture the first two seconds after aiming all right that's eh Rework of the strength skill increases all weight limits, increase the speed of the sprint, increases the jump height, increases the strength of the grenade throw, increase the strength of a melee attack. So pretty good strength buff. That's cool. At elite levels, the weight does not take into account the weapons on the sling and on the back. Melee attack can be stronger than usual. That'll be fun. Rework of the endurance skill as well. Increase feet stamina, reduce stamina consumption for jumping, increase holding breath time when ADS, increases the speed of breath recovery. Elite, maximum increase in breathing recovery rate, breathing is no longer dependent on energy increased stamina reserve uh various fixes and old skills added 5 hp to the health of chest zone from 80 to 85 all right first all these skill buffs super excited for i think it's gonna make the game feel a lot better second this 5 hp buff to the chest may not seem like a big deal but it is actually the talk of the town right now there are a lot of there are a lot of ammo that will one shot you to the chest they'll do 80 damage and unarmored you will die when getting shot to the chest these ammo are not getting changed but the health of the chest is so these couple of ammo that previously would one tap looking at you mosin they won't do that anymore this is going to be kind of weird i don't know how i feel about this one yet i'm not sure of any of the reasoning behind it but we will see how it actually affects gameplay once we get in there obviously the head is still a perfectly good place to shoot so i would recommend doing that you know 200 iq optimization optimize the rendering of decals fix freezes that happen when the sound of thunder or the sound of grenades exploding was played optimize the performance of the game server Ooh, that's cool fix an issue with killing the boss of a group of raiders who appeared on the scene after interacting with the trigger was leading to errors on the server why use many word when few word do trick i don't know what they're talking about minor optimizations on the first shot or hit optimization of hideout sounds fix of errors fixes of errors that could potentially lead to different freezes awesome optimizations 
always good they do it in every patch this is no surprise we have more more optimization awesome now under fix we have iteration of fixes and corrections in ui bug with the post effects menu that remains on the screen after closing the settings didn't have that one bug playing the sound of contusion if the sound is turned off in the settings bug of jerky animation of shooting weapons in the hideout shooting range a passage of raiders on the laboratory through the doors a bug that allows you to quickly move when constantly tapping the run button when overweight yep everyone was super cheeky with that one that is fixed now as valve with the handle adapter rotor 43 is now impossible to fold inability to exit the location via the paid exit car if you reconnect at the start of the exfil timer bug with throwing away the magazine when reloading the weapon via the context menu error 228 when receiving items from an expired email formulas for calculating prices for items with its resources and its commissions after the reconnect the equipment that was not searched become searched the sound of the visor on slash off remained at one point and does not follow the character. Bug that wouldn't block buttons on the bottom panel after reconnecting as a scav. Interface block if you go to the map screen without a map. Bug when the receive all button opened only and first and last message with items. Various bugs with switching the sound from outdoor to indoor and back when reconnecting. Um, this would happen to me whenever I jumped out of the resort on shoreline. If you don't take the front door and walk out and instead jump out of the balcony, it would it would think I was still inside. So the way everything sounded was as if you were inside of a building rather than being outside. I'll have to check and see if that's fixed in that particular area, but that's what they're referring to. Bug of not blocking an item after it was added to the merchant sales table cartridges from packs of cartridges found in raid now have the status found in raid error when studying items from the scab box lots of fixes you might have had these happen to you i a lot of them didn't happen to me so i can't really speak on them but i, I guess they were issues fixes in the flea market the search will be updated if you delete and add an item to the wish list loss of a player's nickname and rating from the offer line after applying filters the search by item option now resets the selected filters bug displaying the loading spinner on top of the list of offers the mount without the found in raid label ceased to be semi-transparent blocked in the selection of the item for the offer if you put and remove the mod on it what bug when the merchant's avatar was flattened isn't there a pepe flat pepe wide people wide wide people happy flat incorrect tag behavior on marked items for a flea market offer if you select multiple items from the container closing and opening the container horizontal scroll bar on the product sales screen bug when the player could put two identical weapons on a flea market if one of them was included in the starter kit for pre-order error 1508 you send bad items when putting an empty pack of cartridges on a flea market bug when for buying through flea market goods from npc merchants needed items found in raid fixed in weapon presets displaying the indicator you have mods to build when there are no mods for the build in the stash bug when the build could have been built with the wrong mod that was not in the preset bill could have been built with the wrong mod that was not in a preset dude i swear that happened to me and i thought i was going insane so that's cool to see it was actually a bug weapon disassembly bug if you build the same preset twice with the same weapon ability to select items that are blocked for purchase via the presets by clicking the button select all packs of items are no longer displayed in the purchase list of preset mods the purchase list of presets no longer display items the player's own offers sometimes when i look at these i just don't know what i'm reading added an error about lack of space when purchasing preset mods bug when opening presets through the lower panel that caused the game client to freeze fixed in the hideout various fixes in a bitcoin farm why authorization screen if you improve the pre-order version while in the hideout bug when it was possible to install a filter with zero resources in the water collector and it could not be uninstalled calculation of fuel consumption time in the generator zone bug duplicating the canister icon when selecting a canister in the generator zone more fixes to hideout right down here various bugs in group chat bugs with the discharge of weapon in the stash what incorrect position of the fire mod pin and the turn of the barrel of the ppsh visual bug for displaying a zero bonus in the base level zones in the hideout visual bug with the ability of time selection before the raid on the laboratory screen right there's only one time zone for labs and there were there have been two for a while now one of them actually won't let you load in so i guess that got fixed a bug where the player could spawn outside the location of labs Spamming error, null reference exception, muzzle manager. An error that occurs every time after treatment or getting a fracture. Fail to create device file, error that occurs during client downtime. Errors when assigning voice commands. Spamming error when a large number of bots are active in the offline mode. Various errors while loading in raid. Various bugs and issues with customs location. Various bugs and improvements related to AI. Fix the bug when bots didn't follow a grenade throw with a voice line. Ah, that was a bug. 
Okay, so sometimes scavs would just throw grenades and they wouldn't say they were throwing a grenade. Not that you ever have to say you're throwing a grenade, but it really helped in avoiding death. So I guess that was a bug when they don't say they're throwing a grenade. Fixed a handful of bugs related to bots getting stuck. Heck W. Fixed a bug where a glue car would not react to a killed in the head ally. That's most scavs though. They won't even react to getting shot if you're at distance. Fixed a bug where bots tried to heal a blacked out body part. Bots are now able to treat debuffs on blacked out body parts again. Fixed a handful of bugs with bots knocking out doors other ai related bug fixes and improvements various localization fixes and improvements other minor bugs and issues finally we have a small section on changed now it is possible to examine items from the construction requirement screen in the hideout added displaying the time before the bleeding effect disappears in the stash now if you are not matched in a raid within 45 minutes the search will be canceled dear god who was waiting 45 minutes updated sv98 animation hold new animations when entering and exiting a sprint new hold in the menu and on the loading screen updated ppsh animation hold and new animations when entering and exiting a sprint so there you have it guys those are all the preliminary patch notes for 12.7 i will put the link to this page down in the description below so you can check it out for yourselves i think this is going to be a fantastic patch and i'm super excited to try it out and get in a new customs area try out the new scab boss the new stems the grenade launcher and the new ammos that are coming as well so i think it's going to be a lot of fun and i'm very very excited for it thank you guys so much for checking out another video if you are new around here don't forget i do stream on twitch most days of the week so you guys are always welcome to come over over, hang out ask questions whatever i am always happy to help you guys out thanks again and i will see you in the next one okay come on come on come on okay i'm gonna i'll be fine oh oh, oh! Was that you? there's another one in there no what who's in the door i just what? killed someone closing a door oh god did i just kill wait, one of you guys i just killed somebody running across the black knight oh wasn't me his legs twitching in the door. Okay. Then